I've been entertaining for 80 years. I started in 1924. I was five years old. <laughs> and when I think when I think back, like you know, no matter what I've done, I've always had some kind of music like with with me, you know. I dreamed of you the night I learned the meaning of two eyes that shine like stars above. And when I felt your sweet caress filled me full of tenderness, I thought my dreams would all come true. I dreamed of you, and all the while I dreamed in vain. Your other love had caused me pain. You took my love and never seemed to know what I was dreaming of. I'm all alone and so in love. My dreams were he began singing songs in school, and he and Ormsby actually could sing in harmony at the ages of five and six. And by the time he was uh, nine or ten, there were his two younger brothers were singing with him, and they were the four Washington brothers. For years, we sang a cappella, and uh, they used to have it at the Royal Connaught Hotel. Uh, every year, they had this priest banquet. And they always had us for their entertainment. By 1930, the Mills brothers had just kind of got their start, and they were just appearing on radio a lot. So one of the detectives suggested to my mother, say, it would be a good idea if the boys had a guitar or a ukulele or something like that to accompany them. My mother went up to Eaton's bargain basement and bought a guitar for six dollars and 95 cents. We had two weeks to learn for my older brother to play this guitar and accompany us. Now the day comes for the concert. Everywhere we went, we walked. We were living down James Street. Walk all the way up to the Royal Connaught Hotel. No case for the guitar, carrying it under our arm. We got up there. Now we're going to be the new Washington oh, Brothers Quartet. They introduced us, and we stepped out there with our new guitar. The one thing happened that we never counted on. The guitar was out of tune, and nobody knew how to tune it. <laughs> For me at the close of a long, long day. When we got home, my mother is right there, you know. Well, how did this song go over and that song go over to? Well, we didn't sing them. Why? Well, the guitar was out of tune and we didn't know what to do, so Jack said, Why don't we sing it? I sing like we used to. My, my mother got right up there. Jack said, yeah, him and his big mouth. <laughs> but after that, my older brother didn't want the guitar. So she turned to me and she says, it's yours. And all the time, right up the time she died, she never ever told me I was a good guitar player or I learned well. And that she was just disappointed that my older brother couldn't have, because he could do just about anything. During the 30s, Jack began playing guitar, began, you know, seeking out other guitar players. The big bands started coming up here from the States. They play London, Buffalo, Toronto, Hamilton, Kitchener. And wherever those bands were, I'd even hitchhike to go and hear the bands. I got to know all of them. Benny Goodman, Hardy Shaw, Glenn Miller, Count Basie, Duke Ellington, Earl Hines, and there wasn't one of those men that ever said to me, I'd go up and ask them, say, I want to be a guitar player and I want to learn some chords. 
every one of them took me to their guitar players and said, show this boy some chords. 